uh, you know, it's Snobber in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. B-I-T-C-H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Jim writes in. Jim writes, longtime Ventura County listener. Now living in Milwaukee, there's a switch. Wow. Jim now listens on the Internet. He says, I'm 30 years old, and I've been sleeping with this 22-year-old quite often. She is totally baby crazy. And it seems that every month, the last three anyway... I go through the same scenario. She pulls the, I think I'm pregnant or my period is late. So for 10 to 15 days every month, I get to sweat the possibility. This is what I'm thinking because I've been using my own contraceptive 100% of the time. And there is still always a chance that something can go wrong. I don't really want any kids now or in the foreseeable future. What do you think, I can't believe he's asking me this question, what do you think about men getting vasectomies but not telling the women they're sleeping with? (laughs) Jim, what do you think I think of that? Are you kidding me? Jim, that's the perfect crime. The perfect crime. Of course. Have a vasectomy and don't... Well, first of all, let's start with this. Why are you having sex with someone who's baby crazy in the first place? If you don't want to have a baby, why, 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 why are you with somebody like this? She is a time bomb. One little drip, one little crack, one little leak, one little pinhole in that condom, and you're a dead man. Aren't there any other sluts in Wisconsin? Come on. They drink a lot of beer in Wisconsin. I got to imagine there's women who put out. There is nothing wrong with having a vasectomy and then telling a woman nothing. Not telling her anything. There's nothing wrong with that. Jim says, I'm pretty sure if she knew I had a vasectomy, she wouldn't want to sleep with me. Furthermore, what percentage of women do you think sleep with us with the sole purpose of attempting to entrap us into relationships, children, or marriage? I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a lot higher than most guys think. There are guys listening to this show right now who are trapped. This is why they are trapped. Because they don't think about these things in advance. If I were dating a woman and she started acting what you call baby crazy, I'd be gone. Out. Out the door. Out the door. But if I had already had a vasectomy, well, then I wouldn't tell her. I'd just keep having sex with her until she finally... Here's when I would stop having sex with her, when she tells me I need to go to the doctor to get my uh, sperm count checked. That's when I would stop having sex with her. When she attempts to make me go to the doctor. That's it. 
period. End of story. Jesus! You've got to be kidding me. Just amazing. Now, first of all, I don't think you owe it to a woman to tell her whether or not you've had a vasectomy when you're having sex with her. I would say, well, put it this way. Should you get married to somebody without telling them you had a vasectomy? I think you shouldn't be getting married, okay? But chances are, if you really want to make your marriage work, you might want to reveal that information so that somebody will move on and be with somebody who, you know, can uh, produce. All right? But if you're dating somebody, they have no right to know if you've had a vasectomy. They have no right to know that. It's the perfect crime to have had a vasectomy and to be with women who are dying to get knocked up without being married. Just as long as you've checked your sperm count and you know for a fact it's zero. But for the time being, Jim, I would not be having sex with her until you have the vasectomy. You need to get it now or stop seeing this woman immediately. I don't understand it. I have been with women who want to have babies, and when I find that out, when they say that to me, when they reveal that to me, I'm out, out the door. Goodbye, I'm gone. Goodbye. I want to hold on to my two pieces of real estate. I want to hold on to my wine cellar. I want to build my vineyard. (laughs) I want to have nice cars. I want to have nice vacations to Tuscany and places like that. I want to every once in a while treat myself to a $2,500 dinner. Yes, I want to do those things. Those of you who have babies, you keep going to uh, Disney World on your vacation. You keep eating at Caro's and Chuck E. Cheese. That's fine. I don't want to live like that. I don't. You keep eating at IHOP. Know what I'm saying? I have no interest in living my life that way. None. I mean, is there uh, some kind of an ethical issue here? You've had a vasectomy. You're not married to the person. You owe it to them to tell them you had a vasectomy. Absolutely not. But I also think that guys who haven't had vasectomies shouldn't be dating women who want to have a baby. Shouldn't be dating because because uh, she's going to make it happen. She's going to get on top. She's going to have a grip like a vice. She's going to pull that condom right off. I'm telling you right now. Ever been with a woman who's done that, by the way? (laughs) A woman who's been, uh, you know, doing those exercises with the Benoit balls or whatever. (laughs) So she's real strong, and she just, like, pulls that condom right. Oops! Yeah. Oh, I've had it happen. I have. You need to make sure that if you know a woman wants to have a baby, you run for the hills. Run. Run the other way. Run. Ladies, if you want to have a baby, go to a sperm bank. Go to a, a artificial insemination. Go to a Petri dish. The reason women don't go to a Petri dish is because a Petri dish can't pay child support. You can't nag, harass, and guilt trip a Petri dish into being involved with their child. That's why they want your baby. Don't flatter yourself, boys. Just run the other way. Anybody disagree with anything I've just said here? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. When you're just trying to get laid, being a nice guy in any way, that reputation will kill you. It will kill you. Yeah, dig that, dig that. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOP. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. They're 1-800-5-800-TOP. By the way, Jim wrote back to say he's not having sex with her anymore, but she keeps calling. Do not respond to those calls until you've been snipped. Don't. 
then have sex with her again. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Melissa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Um, I just had three points that I wanted to make. And first, I wanted to agree with you that a man doesn't have to tell a woman if he's had a vasectomy. But I think the woman, if she wants a child, she should tell him. That's why she's dating him, because she's interested in having a child in the future. Um, but I do think a woman... Yeah, but I, I, even if she says that, I still think a guy shouldn't tell her unless they're getting married. But a woman doesn't want to waste her time dating someone um, unless, you know... Many women waste their time dating somebody just for the sex. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean that, that happens, but I think, I think a, a woman who doesn't want to waste her time, she, you know, she should ask. And if he he's had a vasectomy, he'll be like you, and he'll say, you know what, and goodbye. I don't want he's, to why why would he want to say that? If if he's had a vasectomy, why say anything? Get all the sex you can get. Uh -huh. Then when she pushes you to either A, get married, or B, have your sperm count tested, uh -huh. then dump her. Okay, so you condone that men should lie to women? Just to women lie to men constantly. Fake boobs, fake hair color, fake nails, mm -hmm. liposuction. They say they're on the pill when they're not. I mean, come on. It's war out there. And do you think that um, if a woman wants to get married um, and the man does it, that he should lie about that, too? And said, yeah, I'm interested in marriage and even when he's not? Well, he could say he's interested in marriage. Of course, many guys who say they're interested in marriage, what they, they don't finish the sentence. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm interested in marriage, just not now and not with mm -hmm. you. And then if he does want to marry her in the future... Then that's when he becomes honest and says, oh, by the way, I was lying about the vasectomy thing. Uh, no, it, put it this way. Uh, my guys don't want to get married. Mm -hmm. um, can, I, can, I, can I challenge a caller to call in one of your listeners? No, you um, can't. No, no, no. But you can do that when you have your own show. You're not challenging anyone to do anything. Well, well, I no, you can't do it. If you try to do it, I'm going to hang up on you right now. Okay, then I won't do it. But I, I now, don't, and don't, bah, 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 don't do it. Don't do it by not doing it. Don't not do it and then do it. Don't you're not doing it. Yeah, but I wanted to make another. I'm not gonna oh, wait, make another point. But if you challenge anyone to do anything, I'm hanging up on you. Okay. Um, my third point then was uh, I, is to say that a woman doesn't want to go to a sperm bank because she um, wants because to she because uh, she wants some sucker to pay the bill because she wants to assess. Um, a man's intelligence. Which you can, can do sperm banks do that for you. They do that. They will tell you the hair color of the donor, the eye color of the donor, the educational mm -hmm. background of the donor. You can go to a sperm bank, get all that information, plus the uh, uh, the family health history as well. Yeah, but there's, I mean, I but what you there. don't get is a big fat check. That's what you don't get. But the thing I'm trying to say is, I've met, I've. You know, I've met doctors and who are just stupid. So just because someone has an education and has a degree, a good job, doesn't mean they're necessarily intelligent. And there's some sort of, an, you know, intuition. I'm talking about have. IQ, okay? That information is available from, so there are many sperm banks that will give you exactly that information. Okay, well, um, I'm just saying, you know, personally. And I don't think the I average woman is that savvy anyway. I know what they want, money. And they want the ability to nag somebody for the rest of his life. Well, I think that the type of women um, that you're that you want to press men to date, the women you know who uh, who hang out at bars and you know go up to men. Yeah, maybe those kinds. Well, of women. we want to because we want to have sex. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So the not, best way I'm to do it is that. if our guys have vasectomies and then just don't advertise it. Mm -hmm. They can have sex yeah. with whomever they want. Yeah, I'm not saying that's bad, but I'm saying the type of woman that you're going to meet. Sluts. Like that is, it's been, yeah, yeah, that type of woman. That's what we're looking stuff. for. We want sluts. Okay. Well, that's what we but, want. But it's not all women. The women who No one said all women. You said all women. Well, okay, so you're just addressing the, the certain type of male who doesn't want that kind of woman. He just wants to go to a bar and... The guys and, who listen to this show are not looking for commitment. Does my name sound like Dr. Neil Clark Warren? Do you think I care about 29 levels of compatibility? Our guys want to get laid. But you said We're not looking to get married. We're not looking to fall in love. We're not looking for you to move in with us. We're looking to get laid. And these are also part of the... Guys who want to get married, they're watching Dr. Phil. 
We are here talking about getting late. That's what our guys want. Mm -hmm. And our guys are like most guys. Okay. And, are you new uh, to the show, dear? What was that? Are you new to the show? Uh, I've been listening for a few weeks, and I and I listened yesterday when you were saying you were the number one rated show. And yes, lots of, you have lots of um, ranges of listeners, very intelligent, and so I was thinking of all the different listeners that you have. Given that you're the number one show, um, there's probably um, you know you probably have a section of listeners who may not necessarily um, who might who might listen to you because they find you humorous. I find you. Oh, there humorous. are people like that. And, yes, there and, are. Yeah. Yeah, but not necessarily um, necessarily want to date like the kind of woman that you. Um, it's not a matter of dating. Like, we don't even want to date anybody. We want to have sex. Having a date implies picking you up at eight and driving you mm -hmm. to a restaurant. We, we're not. That, if that's what dating is, we're not interested in that. Well, and how come sometimes you you give advice to men saying that they shouldn't have a relationship until they have money? Isn't that kind of contradictory? No, it's not, because here's the deal. I don't think they should have a relationship, period, if they can avoid it. If they're going to have a relationship, they should have a relationship once they have money, but still not give the money to any woman, not give her any amount of it, not give her gifts, not give her money, not pay her student loans off, not pay her car loans, not pay her visa bill. Uh, uh, you know, having money and giving it to you are two different things. Well, then why does it matter if a guy has to be well-established before he can get a relationship? Because they didn't get the hottest, youngest chick available. But why would a woman um, date a man for money if she can't have access to it? Well, because she won't realize that until after we've had sex with her. And by the time she okay. figures out she's not getting any, we dump her and we move on to the next victim. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I mean, it's the perfect crime. <laughs> I guess that's it for me. Um, that's the perfect crime, dear. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you take me out Kobe style? <laughs> Take you out Kobe cell? Of course I can. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-5800. Oh. Oh. That's our telephone number. Heather on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tommy. How's it going? Okay, Heather. Uh, bye. There's a comic in L.A. who calls himself Tommy, and it always makes me think of you. But anyways, um, I have to agree with what the the woman before was talking about at the beginning. I mean, if you're just out to have sex with a woman for the first night, I don't think you need to advertise that you've had a sex me. But if this woman is telling you, eventually I'd like to have kids with you, um, I think that you should just go look ahead of a sex me. Why? Because... Well, because if you don't and you just continue to have sex with her, then it's just going to be this nagging thing all the time when you could just end it, leave the decision. Up but why? But why do that? Um, you wait until you get the uh, you, until you get the ultimatum. Then you go, oh, well, <laughs> sorry. You want a nagging woman in your life already, even if it's just to have sex with. Like if you just let her know right away, hey, look, if you're interested in babies, I had him sex me and. Well, why why bother to do that if you're having good sex and you're getting it on a regular basis? I say get as much as you can get. To be honest, I mean, my boyfriend a couple of years ago said, look, I already have two kids. I don't want to have any more. And he's older than me. He's 10 years older than me. And I said, well, you know, I'll agree to consider not having kids if you'll agree to consider having them. And obviously that worked out as he doesn't want to have kids, period. And he said, look, I'm going to have a vasectomy, and that's how it's going to be. And, you know, I really respect him for that because I had to make a decision. Do I want to be a You respect guy? him for that, so you continued seeing him? I, your phone cut out there, darling. Uh, we're married now. You are married to him now. And no, you didn't no, have a kid with him. And I didn't have a kid with him, and it was it's perhaps one of the... Well, I, our boys are not looking to get married anyway. True. I, I agree with you there, but I'm just saying you are always talking about nagging women and all this stuff, and I think if you if you yeah, but there's no nagging if you just if you just kind of like go mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm then, then there's no nagging because the woman thinks she's getting her way. I guess. And any guy who's having sex without a condom, that woman thinks she's going to get what she wants, whatever she wants, and when she decides she wants to have a baby, if he hasn't agreed to marry her by a certain time, she'll just stop taking the pills, she'll figure, and then she'll have the baby, but the joke's on her. Well, I say get, here's what I say, I say get the vasectomy, go ahead, but 
I mean, why not just be mature about it and go, look, you know, if she's nagging you, get ahead of a sex me and find another woman, you know? There's a bunch of women out there who have sex who also don't want the risk of pregnancy, and I was one of them, you know? I was like, well, great, have a vasectomy, great. I don't want kids either, so... Yeah, but there's, I don't know any women who, who, who say, I'm not having sex with you because you might get me pregnant. I, I just don't know women like that anymore in the 21st century. Oh, well. Okay. Most women out there are like, well, they're not looking to have a baby, but if something happens, oh, well, I'll just uh, deal with it. Oh, well, I just, maybe it's, uh... Or maybe it's meant to be. I've had women say that, too. Well, if it happens, maybe it's meant to be. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of what you say is common sense, and it's just, you know, if somebody puts you into a position, it's ultimately your choice, really. Like, if you want to have sex with somebody who's had a vasectomy or if you want to nag them about having a kid, you know, I I think it's, why not just be mature? I mean, you're an adult. Why not just be mature? I, but, 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 see, the point is, is, again, what you call being mature means giving you what you want. You see, yeah, no. we I want what I want, and it's war out there. And I want all the sex I can give. I got good sex. I want to keep it going until I can't take it anymore. All right. Well, I mean, I just think, like, be true, right? Like, why lie about something? I'm not lying. I'm just not talking about it. agree with you. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying... Most that. women do not assume that men have had vasectomies. Trust me. I have not had women ask me, by the way, have you had a vasectomy ever? Ever. Ever. But, you know... You know, when my boyfriend started talking about it was when I said, hey, you know, I was thinking about not now, but maybe 10 years from now, because I'm only 29 and he's 41. You know, I said, maybe in 10 years from now, I'll be ready to have a kid. And he said, you know what, Heather? No kids. No way. Yeah, but we're not looking to get married, dear. You know, that's the difference, you see, between me and him. I'm not looking to get married. You're looking to bang the same chick in your bullpen. And uh, yeah, but, but I'll tell you what. When she finally makes it untenable, fine. She'll get her unconditional release, uh, release and I'll sign a new reliever. All right. I mean, uh, the point I... is, I'm not looking to get married. If you tell me you want to have a baby down the line, I'll say, that's great. That's All great, right. by the way, is one of the great... By, by the way, this is for the men out there. That phrase, that's great, is one of the great phrases in my repertoire. Because in reality, you're saying absolutely nothing. You say to me, you know, uh, in a year or two, I'd like to get married and have babies. My response is, that's great. And that's you know, that that's really yeah, that, exactly. Now, you hear that's great as that I'm going to give you what you want. But when I say that's great, what I'm saying is, well, that'll be great for the guy who ultimately marries you, impregnates you, and has to pay child support to you, but it isn't going to be me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I just, I, I say the only reason you should tell a woman you've had a vasectomy is if she keeps nagging you. That's it. Just, if a woman is nagging me, I'm not dating. By the way, if a woman nags me, I'm not dating her anymore anyway. But they don't nag me because here's, I tell, if I'm having a vasectomy, if I have a vasectomy, I will, every time she says, you know, I really do want to get married to every baby, the recommended response is, that's great. True. Uh, you, you're, yeah, you're right. That's great gets you out of a multitude of situations. Because yeah, later yeah. on when she says, well, you know, you haven't given me the ring yet, you say, what made you think I was going to give you a ring? True. And you said, and I want to get married and have a baby. You said, that's great. I did say that's great, and it is great. Yeah. I didn't say I wanted to marry you. Yeah. I didn't say I, I wanted to knock you up. I said it was great, and it is great. Good luck to you, and good luck to whoever marries you. And by that time, I have done you to a tender turn. Are you kidding me? You're like a shrimp on my Barbie, baby. I have done you every which way. Yeah. You've been on my rotisserie. I've done you in every possible position. <laughs> I have rubbed you in oil, and I have run you over the fire at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And once your skin is crispy, I'm going to pass you on to the next sucker. Yeah, once I'm all baked and wrinkled. Thank you. Uh, exactly. That's exactly right. Once once you've given me the best years of your life, I'm kicking you out. All right. Promise? I promise. Thanks, Tom. You blow me up. Of course I can. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Brandon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Yeah. Pretty much I broke every rule known to man before I started listening to you. Oh, well. I, yeah, I met a girl 
down at Hermosa Beach a uh, month after I turned 21 years old. And within two months, first she says, I can't get pregnant. So me and her... And, her and you stupidly uh, believed it. Hello, yes. Got a little feedback problem over there? What's the problem there, Brent? Hello, can you hear me now? Well, I, are you on a speakerphone? No, I'm not. I'm actually in my car parked. Okay. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Yes, I All can. Right. But pretty much, she told me she's going to get pregnant, and after two months, she becomes pregnant. So after that, I actually ended up marrying her. Why? Um, I This is before, once again, this is before I started listening to you, and I didn't know any better. I was doing it for the kid, you know. And I ended up moving down out to the valley for her. And within two years, I ended up finding out that she cheated on she was cheating on me with a 36 year old bald headed guy, man, some guy that works at a macaroni grill. <laughs> yes. He's in charge. After I moved up. He's in charge. He's in charge of putting crayons on the table so you can write down how many glasses of Chianti you've had. Oh my God, it's out of control. And I worked six hour, six days, twelve hour nights for her, and that's what I get. But I ended up. Just, well, that's what you deserve for being a mora. Yes, I totally agree. And you know what? I since then I moved back down to the beach where I was born and raised, and I started listening to you. And now everything is going very nice very good i don't buy girls drinks anymore i don't do anything i don't listen to them i don't compliment them on anything i just got to have a good time if they don't want anything to do with me because i don't buy them a drink then so be it so I be it yep exactly i just laugh at them i was like all right so how, how do you like paying child support there brandon you like that um, it's, it's, I, you know what? I can live without it, but you know what? I have my daughter, and it's not that bad. So it sucks driving out to the valley once a weekend to go pick her up, though. <laughs> well, that's what people with children do. They move to the San Fernando Valley. That's what they do. Yes. Yeah. When I was living out there, every, everywhere shut down like at ten o'clock. I'm like, where the hell am I? You're in the San Fernando Valley. That was Valencia. Valencia. I thought you yeah. said the valley. That is the valley to me when I was um, I was born and raised down right on the. What valley is that? Valencia, San Clarita. Yeah, I, I I know. Just when people in in Southern California say the valley, they're referring to the San Fernando Valley. So you you have to get on the Antelope Valley Freeway. Yeah, get on the four or five to the five. Wow, oh, God. Oh. Yeah, man. I drive up there every Friday listening to you though, so. <laughs> well, that's that's why we have better. listeners. That's why we have listeners like we have. Oh, yeah, they're all driving out to see their daughters, and wish right. and wishing they had uh, you know expensive cars and that they were banging chicks, right? All right. Who boy? Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. 1-800-5-800-866. I've been listening to you, and that is the best advice. Keep her out of the house. Oh, my God. She tried to. She's like, oh, I, I need a place to stay for, for just a week. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Go stay no. with one of your gay friends. No, no. That's right. That's right. Stay with one of your gay friends is a good answer. I like that. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of our program. Here we are, you and me, talking on the radio. You and me and a 50,000-watt blowtorch. It's what it is. Except in Portland, it's a 5,000-watt tea kettle. You know what 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, here's an email we received from a listener named Chad. He writes in and says, Tom, I had a vasectomy about three years ago and kept it very much on the down low, even to my friends and family. I'm single and have no kids, so I've been set for a great career of pumping and dumping. 
He says, about a year ago, I banged a gal who didn't live in my town, but had layovers in her own hotel room every now and then. She'd call and I'd come over, service the account, which she said that's all she wanted for me, and be home for Sports Center. <laughs> Normally I wrap up to avoid diseases, but one time I didn't. I didn't hear from her for a couple of months. Then I get a text telling me she's pregnant. I laughed and replied, congrats to you and whoever the father is. Indirectly, she tried to get me to take ownership of it, but I never budged or asked if it was mine. It was hilarious. Amazingly, I get another text a few weeks later that she had a miscarriage of some sort, but wanted to get together because she just happened to be in town. Crazy bitch! Either she lied the whole time about being pregnant to see what I'd do, actually was pregnant and didn't really know, but saw I was the biggest payday. Since I didn't bite, she probably hit the clinic in all reality. Oh, you'd enjoy, Chad. <laughs> one 800 800 tom is her telephone number. It's Tom on the Tom Lager Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you? I'm doing great. And I do care. Thank you. All right, story is, I uh, got a girl. Uh, obviously, she wants to get married with me. What do you I mean? Uh, wait, 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 wait. What do you, wait, wait, stop. What do you mean, obviously? Well, she wants to get married. It's not obvious to me. Uh, well, it's obvious to me, but yet, then again, it's not obvious to me either. So, my situation is, I got a girl. Wants me to propose her by this month. Which. Oh, she's already bossing you around. That's great. No, no, so when no are you mar when are you gonna marry her? I'm not. That's the whole thing, Tom. Then when are you gonna tell her to get lost? This month, actually soon. What are you waiting for? Well, just, I just wanted your advice, I guess. You know, <laughs> do, I listen to your show all the time. Do it right you know, now. Let's call her immediately. Let's get this done. <laughs> I'm just looking for your advice, Dad. I'm telling you what to do. Let's call her right now. I'll be here. I'll be here to support you. I'll be your rock of Gibraltar. We'll call her together. And we'll tell her the jig is up. It's over. Uh, yeah, well, that was already done. You told her that? Her. It was already done. What was done? That I wasn't ready for it. So you told her that? Yeah. No, no, absolutely, Dad. So what, what do you mean she's giving you a limit of this month? No, 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 no. She was. Even though you told her you, you're, you're not going to give her what she wants, she's giving you until this month? To, to, to do it or not to do it. But you already told her you're not doing it. I'm not doing it. I just want to make sure, I mean, like I said, I mean, long time, first time, you know, definitely. And my thing was that, you know, she always ask me, you know, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I'm going to do still, no matter what. Yeah, but the, the, do you understand like that every time you have sex with her, you're running the risk that she'll get knocked up? No, oh, absolutely. There's always safe sex with Tom. Yeah, I understand that. But do you, do you use condoms 100% of the time? Absolutely. Yes, and sir. have you ever had one fail? Uh, you know what? There's been a couple times where they fail. But my thing was, like, you know, I made sure she was on the shot. And yeah, but is she on up. the shot now? Shot now, yes, sir. Oh, well, how do you know it's still effective? How do you know it hasn't run out? You know what? You know what? Uh, obviously, I don't. Right. But obviously, you know. Uh, why don't you just have? Why don't you stop I having sex with her? Why don't you just stop? Well, no, is that that that's true. Obviously, it's 100 percent true. So for about the past, I don't know, about month, yeah, about the past month, just, you know, oral copulation, just to make sure that, that you know, nothing's going in and, and nothing's going to come out nine months later. You know, but I just want to tell you, you know, hey, you're absolutely right. She gave me a time frame and her time frame is running out. And if I were you, I'd give her my time frame. <laughs> Which is what, Dad? It's over immediately. That's it. Nice knowing you. Nice and smooth. Don't you be giving me any orders. I'm giving you the order. Get out. Get out while you get, while you can. Right. No, definitely. That's what that, that's what I've been doing. Don't be taking any chances. No, treat them like dirt. You know, she wants her nails done and and she wants to go celebrate because she got a new job. And how can we not so excited because I got a new job? Because I'm not. Because you're leaving. Exactly. Yes, sir. You told her that. Yes, sir. Well, why do you keep seeing her? I don't understand why you keep seeing her. Well, I keep seeing her for...
Yeah, but can't you, do you have that little game that you can't get sex elsewhere? Oh, no, it's not that. It's not about the sex. What is it? Uh, maybe, maybe just, you know, like, maybe a conscience. But then again, it's that. Conscience? Time. Wait a minute. Uh, she wants to get married and have a baby, and you know you don't. So you keep having sex with her? I mean, every time you have sex with her, every minute you spend with her is going to make it harder for her to break up with you or for you to break when you break up with her. Yes, if you sir. really have a conscience, you break up with her now. Okay. Right now. Right now. Yes. Okay. We'll call her right now. I, I can't put her on blast like that, Tom. Why not? I just, I just can't. I just wanted your advice. Just mm. let you know that I'm listening to your rules. Listening to 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 what uh, my father says to do, and treat him like dirt. I mean, that's that's what you have to do. That's right. You know, if you don't, you're going to be a doormat. That's all you're going to be. You're going to be a doormat. She's going to come in and leave when she wants to. You know. That's right. And, and you know, who knows? You know what what she's doing in her own little mind. You know, and obviously, I'm the type of guy that that I don't know. I don't I don't play by those games. I'm my own man. I'm me. Well, good for you. Good luck. Break up with her, goddammit. Joe on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, what's going on, Tom? Do a little radio show here, Joe. All right, all right. Which kind of, uh, yeah, I just want to call in and let you know a uh, little short story of what's going on with me. I got married a couple months back, and then, uh, it's always been an issue with the the girl I've been with. Why'd you get uh, married, by the way? Because you know I wanted to settle down. Want to have a one so you were not settled it. down. You were all over the place, and you I needed a woman to anchor you down. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You're right on that. You couldn't anchor yourself down or settle yourself down. Well, no, I could, but anyways. Which kind? What happened is we used to uh, we, we'd argue about it, and uh, next thing you know, uh, she's pregnant after being married, and uh, now uh, she wants me to put her name on the deed, and uh, I told her no. So now she's uh, she w doesn't want to uh, uh, be married anymore. Great. And you think so, huh? Yes. I, I, I guess I guess that's the right thing, huh? You right. Don't want, to, don't want to do a prenup? Now you know why she got married. Can you right. see it clearly now? Yeah, yeah. She wants what you've earned. Even though all that time she said she didn't want it. I don't care what they say. Mm. It, I, it's not what people say. It's what they do. Right. She now yeah, has it. proven what I've been telling you is the truth about women all along. She got married because she wants your wealth. Whatever it is, however much there is, she wants it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know, I mean, I was trying just to, to deny it because, you know, I wanted to believe that, you know, there's a few out there that are good. Well, you're an idiot for believing that. And on yeah. top of that, uh, I'm sure you didn't get a prenup, which was stupid. I'm All also right. sure you didn't get her to sign a quick claim deed on that house of yours, did you? No, there's no quick claim deed. So you never bothered to consult with an attorney or anything, did you? No, I did. I did. Yeah, and the attorney didn't tell you about a quick claim deed. You need a new attorney. To get her off. To have not, she's not on the deed. That's not my point. Uh -huh. uh, there's no guarantee she won't try to fight you legally to try to get a piece of that house. Have you made a mortgage payment out of a joint checking account? Nope. Nope. No. Nothing. I'm Everything. not a forensic accountant, and I'm not an attorney, but I'm telling you, uh -huh. you were not prepared for this, Joe. But if she wants out, fantastic. Show her the door. Uh -huh. Pay your child support and be done with it. Exactly. Okay. All right. All right, Gay, can you take me out with the ball hit? Let's see what we got here. Tom Likas Show.